Now then, here we are in sunny Spain, staying at my cousin's beautiful villa. Take a look at that. We've got lovely gardens all wrapped around this absolutely gorgeous house. But in the distance there, we've got some mountains and they have been calling me since the moment I got here. So I've packed a backpack here with everything that I need to survive a night up there. So I'm gonna go get myself to the summit and just take in the view. It is just honestly a fantastic place. So I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, let's get ourselves to the base of it and up that mountain. Right, I'm here at the base of the mountain. It heads up there behind this church. Cheers for the lift. Okay, Al. We're off. See you sometime. You might not. <laughs> there, see. Right, let's head on this uh, pathway. Let me just show you the sign. One and a half hours to the summit. Let's do it. This is what I like about Spain. All the routes are colour coordinated and it's every sort of obvious place that you might need to turn. So quite easy to follow. I absolutely love this. Just exploring the unknown or unknown by me. Well, as you can see, we've got the town down there in the bottom, which is already getting into the distance. And we are heading to the summit up here of the Picos del Aguila. There you go, that's my Yorkshire Spanish accent coming through. And it's 568 meters, so it's not too high, but this place just stands so prominent in all this landscape, because if you can see down there, it's just one big flat sort of floodplain, which probably was an old seabed at some point. And now we're heading up into all this gnarly terrain Oh dear. <laughs> Come here. Come here. It started already. Anyway, I did have a quick read of this route and it did say that mountaineering experience and equipment will be needed. So <laughs> we're just going to see how far we get and hopefully I can find somewhere just to sleep for the evening. There is a refuge up there. So at least there's going to be somewhere if needed just to fall back to but i've got the bivy so it's a lot nicer sleeping under the stars Well, it looks like they're quite organised here. We've got a few metal steps put in, just sort of climb up on the harder bits. So, one-handed, <laughs> let's do it. And obviously I know which way I'm going because there's plenty of markers. It's definitely a great way of doing it. Oh look, we've got some nice steel rope here, which is sort of showing that this terrain is pretty gnarly if they're actually coming up and putting this up here to help people so i'm so I'm gonna assume that it's gonna get worse <laughs> when i say worse i mean better more fun that is what i'm all about get out push your comfort zones and just enjoy life that little bit more eh that is it <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is well marked, which is needed because it is a hell of a gnarly path. And if you go wrong, they'll put a cross. So you don't want to be heading up that way because looking at it, it is just one massive crag behind me. And on this side as well, just one massive rock first. But look at that view. It is worth the effort just to get to see that. Absolutely beautiful. And it has given 21 degrees Celsius today, down there, 
at pretty much uh, sea level and this is 568 meters above sea level so we've got minus about five degrees there i would say but the night temperature is going to be seven degrees so we're going to be touching freezing up here maybe so it's going to be a cold one and i have only got very lightweight gear with me so we just need to see what happens if i need to i'll just have to do a bit of jogging to keep myself warm but i'm sure i'll be all right Well, they weren't wrong when they said you might need a bit of mountaineering experience here because it's quite a scramble in places. So I'm just making sure I'm taking extra care because obviously I do not want to get an injury in amongst all this, especially because I'm the only person here and I don't expect to see anybody overnight either. I've got my bivy bag with me and I've also got my PH Design sleeping bag so at least I can keep myself warm which is a good thing. What else have I got for safety? I've got my Zolio satellite communicator here as well. So as long as I can see the sky, I can also send a message for help if I need. And as it always, let people know where you're going, your route plan and a rough idea of the time. So at least my brother and my cousin will be able to help if needed. Anyway, let's continue up this. great for burning those quads I like a bit of exercise as you know though <laughs> this bit's pretty cool we're just traversing across this rock face here and it goes up around here somewhere but obviously it's a hell of a long way down that I love it, absolutely love it. What a route, eh? To say it's only 568 meters above sea level, this is pretty damn cool. Tell you what, this is getting gnarlier and gnarlier. I think it's going to be word of the day that. Following the little signs there, but as you can see, it's a long way down that. And <laughs> it continues up here, following that rope up. This is a proper scramble all the way up this and I've just come all the way around there. Not one for the faint hearted anyway. I'm trying to move quick so I can get to the summit and then we need to get in that sunset. I'm just coming up into the sunshine and it is nice to feel the heat on my face. 
onto a ridge. Wow, that is just stunning. What a view. And I tell you what, it's nice to be off that because down there it's just 200 to probably 300 meters of scrambling. So I'm glad I've got some trail running shoes on today because they've actually been really grippy on all this rock. Anyway, we have to head up further up there to the summit. I've got a couple of goats down in the bottom there. So they may be my friends for the evening. I prefer goats to scorpions and snakes. So you never know what we're going to end up finding. What a place though. What an adventure. a little cave up there but I don't have time to explore and there's probably some creepy crawlies in it that want to eat me look at the state of this quite mind me to go up this is pretty unbelievable as far as scrambling goes definitely a grade one scramble I don't know at what point it turns into grade two because uh, it's fairly tough going it really is <coughs> it's slowing me down a bit anyway that's the ridge that I was just on I traversed all the way down up all this and now I'm here onto another ridge which opens up onto that. Look at that. Beautiful mountain range all there in the background. Whew. Wow. I'm going to take a minute and take that in, I think. We're at the penultimate peak, stood by this cairn. It's pretty damn windy, a bit of a chill in the air, but what a magnificent view that is. You can just see all the towns and cities with the white painted buildings sat down there in the valley. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, this ground here is rough as a badger's ass, and there is not much chance I'm gonna find anywhere to put my bivy bag, but, Look at this, we've got a refuge, so I'm hoping we can get in it. It looks pretty cool. No windows, there's a door. Let's have a quick look, eh? Wow. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Got a nice flat section there so I can pump my mat up and sleep on that. Or sleep on the concrete floor. We've even got a fire. Get that. And look at the view through the window. This is it. This is definitely home for the night. No point me messing about out there. Getting eaten by scorpions and big centipedes and what have you brilliant anyway let's get to the highest point there taking the sunset and i'll be back to set up camp it 
Here we are then, the last few steps to a trig point. Let's get onto this. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> We're actually stood on a sheer cliff face here. Bloody hell. I bet there's a few female Instagrammers falling off that in the time. <laughs> is that sexist? I don't know. Jeez, that is unbelievable. I'm actually holding on to this. Wow. What a view though. That is just incredible. I've got another little mountain set there. I've got mountains in the distance all the way around. And then when we turn this way, we've got the sea. worth every step it absolutely is worth every step wow <laughs> just wow don't get much better than this sat here on a cliff edge taking in the sunset although it has dropped cold so I've had to put my PH Designs jacket on just to make sure that I'm maintaining some body heat although I still have my quads out but I think I'll be putting some leggings on soon what an absolute fantastic view though sometimes you just feel lucky in life, don't you? Get this, a litre of white wine in a carton. And the best thing about this is it cost me 80 cents. That's like 70p, 70p for a litre of wine. It's 11% and to be fair, I'm not expecting much, but don't judge a book by its cover. It might be nice. I don't have a glass for it, but it's actually better not having glass up on a mountain anyway, because you do not want to be breaking it and then leaving sharp bits for the local goats to be treading on so we're swigging out of this let's have a taste <laughs> to be fair that's actually really nice oh that'll do the trick definitely well i'm gonna sit back and just take in the last bit of sunshine. Living the dream, eh? Living the dream, if only for a minute.
it's been lovely sat up against this trig point taking in this view and i feel like i'm on an island with a sea of electricity all the way around me which is rather weird for me because normally i'm on a mountain with no light whatsoever so just looking down at these lovely little towns that have got that nice orange glow and then you can see the sunset there just a little bit of an orange glow there too so what an amazing place to be and i'm the only one here absolutely awesome anyway i'm going to get back to this refuge set myself up for the night and then we can get some food finish me wine and hopefully lay me log for the night I'm in my little home for the evening, which is actual luxury. I say a little as well, it's actually about 10 times bigger than all my tents. And it's just nice to be wrapped in all this solid stonework because out there, the weather is pretty wild. It's actually pretty windy and also it's very cold. So it's just nice to be sort of surrounded by all this. Anyway, I'll show you my kit that I've got. I had to keep it very lightweight because obviously all this had to come in on the aeroplane. So I've got my PH Designs M Degree 200 sleeping bag and that is rated down to about 4 degrees so that's going to keep me toasty tonight. My Cita Summit Aeros pillow as always. And we have got the Thermarest Neo Air Uber Light there so that's just going to give me a bit of comfort to sleep on. Load of water, I've got some batteries and my charging gear there. Made a lovely carton of wine which I'm thoroughly enjoying. A few little accessories there, a pair of gloves, and these are PH Design booties. These things will just keep my feet warm as well. I've also got a load of food, so we'll start with my main course, which is some of these uh, sort of pastry things, which I'm going to have with chorizo and also some edam. And then we've also got these for pudding, which are some pano chocolat. And then breakfast, just a couple of bars, so that'll just sort of keep me going. And there we have it. That is my lovely bed and living space. So I am gonna now make myself some food and just chill out, just totally enjoy what this is, and that is taking a view on a mountain. That's what it's all about. Get outside. Rightio, I'm ready for bed. I'm in my sleeping bag, I've got my down jacket on, woolly hat on, I've got my down booties on, and I've also had a big swig of water and I've brushed my teeth. So now it's time to lay back and just reflect on the day because it has been just epic. What a lovely adventure to climb a Spanish mountain and it was a proper climb as well to get up here sit down against that lovely trig point take in that view and that spanish sunset and drink a glass of wine i say glass it was out of a carton but yeah i'm well posh me so it is time now just to hopefully sleep well for the evening and then in the morning i'm going to get up and we're going to set off back down the mountain but a different route and apparently it's more technical than the route i brought came up on so it could be interesting. So, I'm gonna lay this log and we'll see the in morning. Take care.
being absolutely awesome. So I'm all packed up, ready to go. Leave no trace as always. Thank you for your hospitality. And now, let's step out into that sunshine. We'll shut the door, put the lock on, and let's skedaddle back off this mountain. It's too early for that. Give me five minutes, eh? And then we'll get back on it. At the summit again for the final time, just taking in those absolutely beautiful views. I've got the sun over there skimming off the sea. And then down in the valley everywhere, you can just see the little bits of smoke coming out of the factories and the movement of all the traffic. And it is just nice to be up here, out of all the busyness of that, and just in the calm. Although, if you look down here, this is the route I've got to take, and it's a little daunting, I've got to say. But like anything in life, you've got to take it step by step, and then you don't become overwhelmed by it. So anyway, I need to now get off here, and we are going to follow the green and white route. So if you can see, that's where we're heading. So let's do it, eh? Let's get down this scary arete to start. Here's a top tip for you. If you're ever stranded and you need an emergency whistle but don't have one, find yourself a snail shell. Make sure it's empty, of course because these actually make really good whistles and can be quite shrill and loud. So let's test this one out. <laughs> it's not bad, I might need to search for a better one. But you never know, I might have just saved someone's life there. Down a bit of a scramble, but look off that edge. <laughs> Take my time, eh? Make sure my feet are planted properly. Hands are down. And there we go. Oh, he says, let me get rid of you. Tell you what, hellish is this. Quite exciting, I've got to say. So you've got a hell of a long drop all the way down this, and I've got a head down there. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> Tell you what, it's not easy this. Good thing is, having these trail shoes on, they are super grippy on this. Around the corner, a few ropes to hold on to because you don't want to end up sliding down that. Let's see if I can do this one handed, should be all right. Take me time. <laughs> At least they're solid, that does help. Right, transfer onto that one. And we're off again. <laughs> there we go. 
It's funny. Absolutely is. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm going to have to put you down. Out of the sunshine and into the shade. And give that a minute. I'm sure I'll feel the difference. Uh, straight away, it's so much cooler. It's actually nicer because it's getting very hot already. Yeah, I've just come down off that, all that arete there. And to be fair, <laughs> it definitely gave me a twitch, just not in the right place. If you look up there, that's the summit cairn. And that's where I sat taking in all this view last night and drinking a cart and a wine. But it's definitely not a place to be drinking wine. Look at that cliff. It is not a place to stumble. And now I'm on this, which is like a 45 degree angle all the way down there. So again, I'm just got to take my time and make sure I'm looking after myself. Otherwise I'll be uh, grabbing me snail whistle <laughs> and making sure that I'll get some help. <laughs> uh, brilliant. thing is it's a little bit easier going up but I still have to go back down again don't I these path markers are actually really good I was over there heading down and then you come to this section and it's an absolute impossibility to get down there so you guide it over to this one here and then it just gives you a route down. So if I just clamber down this one, you can see we've got this, it's aiming that way, so that's the way to go. And then I've actually got some steps almost to get down. <laughs> he says, hold on, hold hard there, hold hard, I have you. I have you. <laughs> so there we are, down onto the next bit. But without these markers, you're pretty doing it aimlessly and you're going to end up in trouble. So they actually are definitely a good thing to have. I think we might need them in UK, but you know what they're like over there. People will be like, yeah, it's marking the landscape. But I don't think that actually makes that much difference. Anyway, saved my life. <laughs> right, I'm out of that little gunnel, ginnel, <laughs> and I'm traversing across the mountain now. But this is not looking too easy either. Pretty much all of this is a scramble, like every single bit. It's like now, again, I'm having to use my hands just to traverse this rock. Oh deal, it ends up going round, right round there. Pretty awesome though, isn't it? Hey? I love it. Love it. I'll tell you what, that was tough. It was not a place to be messing about at all. Literally got to traverse the whole of that and you can see the angle of that. It's literally just a cliff face all the way and there's a path that just winds its way all the way around up to this point here and then now I'm back down to a bit of safety but my god one tiny false move there and you are off and you are tumbling a hell of a long way so yeah that was fun you guys went away and I concentrated very hard with a few of those moments thinking <laughs> I do need to be a bit careful because there was a couple of points up there where it was just a rope holding on and it was just a sheer drop so you were literally holding on for dear life yeah there's not many people in life I would trust to take along that 
not at all so that's how bad it was anyway i am going to continue down here as you can see there's a little bit of a pathway and then uh, we're hopefully going to get down to the town and get a coffee I'm assuming Cueva means cave. So we might as well get ourselves up there. Whilst I'm here, I'll never be here again, I don't think, so I might as well explore. Well, I've made it to the cave entrance. And I'm absolutely knackered. Midday sun, and a couple of minutes ago, I was down there. That was hard. Anyway, I've got a head torch, so let's go explore. I'm hoping it's going to go in quite a long way, and it was worth the effort. Oh, pretty tricky, this. Oh well, this is largely disappointing. That is it. It goes in a few meters. Let's get a bit higher. It's pretty cool still, but that's all we've got. A lovely opening and a bit of cool air. <sighs> it's still worth the effort, isn't it? If you go home without trying these things out, it'll always be in your brain to want to do it. So now I've done it, take onto the next challenge, eh? The next challenge of life. Well, this is not a bad place at all to end it. End the video, that is. Make sure you know that. Looking out at that natural window to the Spanish mountains. Absolutely epic. It has just been awesome getting to the summit of this absolutely incredible mountain, spending the night up there in that refuge hut and drinking some wine, taking in a sunset, a sunrise, and getting some exercise along the way. One thing I wouldn't advise is coming down the path that I did because there's not many people, as I said, would, I would trust to actually come down there because it is definitely pretty sketchy. At times there was actually a metal rope attached to the rock, you had to hold on to that and there was nothing beneath you, you had to literally pull yourself around, so you need a good head for heights if you're going to do something like that. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up as always. And if you'd like to join the Patreon to help me out by contributing towards the channel, and also you can buy me a coffee or buy me a beer in the buy me a coffee link, you can also do that as well. Anyway, from me, there's no blue, <laughs> but we'll be out on the next one. Take care. How cold is that? I tell you, that is cold. Ah, oh. oh dear. Yes.